Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel, Beauty in a Minute. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like my video today, please kindly give me the thumbs up. And today I want to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Heavily Touted Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. So this is a 3.6 sample. I mean, this magic serum is heavily advertised and heavily promoted by Charlotte Tilbury and she calls it her magic serum. So we're going to have a look what is so magical about it or is it magical at all. So the 3.6 sample that I got looks like this. So it's a watery white milky liquid. So it's quite watery. Let's just go straight to the ingredients. High up on the top, you've got your quartz powder, amethyst powder, ruby powder, and gold. So these are what you call mineral powders. I mean, there's no scientific evidence or laboratory studies to suggest that, to confirm that all these mineral powders has any skincare benefits. There's actually no scientific studies to prove. I have used product that has got gold in it. And what it does, it gives you a little bit of a shine when you put on your makeup. So I think this amethyst and the quartz and the ruby powder gives a little bit of shine when you put on your makeup. And hence, if you use this magic serum, when you put on your makeup, it gives you that shine, reflection to the camera and to the light. Other than that, it's got a whole lot of um, basic mixing ingredients. It's got your usual alloy leaf juice extract, your sodium hyaluronate, magnolia fruit extract. It has got perfume in it. And this product does smell perfumey. I'm not a fan of the smell. It smells like lavender to me. The first thing I noticed was that lavender smell, which is I'm not a fan of. So if you like lavender, a big fan of lavender, that this product might be for you. She says the key ingredients are the vitamin C and the polyglutamic acid. But if you look at the actual ingredients list, the vitamin C is very low on the um, ingredients list. Plus her, the same with the glutamic acid is also quite low. I mean, polyglutamic acid is essentially amino acids mixed with glutamic, glutamic acid. It's just a chain of amino acids. And it works very similar to hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant. So what it does is can draw water into your skin. So it's very similar to hyaluronic acid. So that's what polyglutamic acid is. But if you look at the ingredients list, it's not right at the top. It's more closer to the bottom and so is the uh, vitamin C. So looking at this whole ingredients list, there's no special ingredients that really stood out. The vitamin C, there's no given percentage, which means the vitamin C is really is quite minimal. And so is a, a polyglutamic acid. So both so-called key ingredients are rather minimal. And then the rest is just some herbal and plant extract. If you are looking to treat hyperpigmentation, if you are looking to treat your wrinkles and fine lines, I don't think this serum is going to do the job. I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm not even bothered. I use it once and I'm not even bothered to use it again. It's just, it's a nice little serum. Let's go straight to the price of this magic serum. Eight meals, which is just twice the size of this. This is 3.6. So twice the size of this is 7.2, it's $56. The 30 mils, which is what a usual serum size is, $134. And then it, is, it has got 100 mils, $290. Yeah, so nearly $300. So yeah, this is a very, very pricey serum. And I personally just find that it's a bit overpriced for what it does. So really, um, yeah, I'm sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> this is perhaps a little bit um, overhyped. Yeah, I would call this a bit of an overhyped serum for me. So yeah, I don't think I'll be buying the actual product. And, and nor do I recommend this to my uh, audience here because it's just so overpriced for what is in it. 
if you want to fix your pigmentation just I'm going to put a few products underneath and you want to a few retinol products retinol is scientifically proven to help with, to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and I'll put below some of my favorite retinol products thank you so much for joining me today if you haven't done so yet please consider subscribing to my channel and if you like my video today please kindly give me the thumbs up and if you have any questions please list them down below and I'll do my best to answer them otherwise I'll catch you guys next time bye